These are members of Venezuela's opposition. They met at the Catholic University in Caracas to debate ahead of the primary elections in October. Maria Corina Machado has been leading the polls, but she was disqualified from running for office last month. There is no possibility that the regime today will hand over power. To earn it, you have to earn it by force. On October 22nd, that's the catalyst of strength, of hope and unprecedented organization to start to break down barrier by barrier this dictatorship. The opposition in Venezuela had previously relied on the creation of a parallel government led by Juan Guaidó to challenge President Nicolás Maduro. But that strategy failed. That's why choosing one candidate to run against Maduro in next year's presidential elections is crucial to continue what they call is their fight for democracy. Enrique Capriles is one of the candidates seeking support. He told Al Jazeera the biggest challenge is to remain united. I have been disqualified and Maduro will do the same to others. But I think Maduro will never be able to disqualify 28 million people the great test for the opposition is that we know how to read what's happening, we know how to have a plan for what's happening, and know how to execute that plan and more. Beyond the legitimate aspirations that any of us may have, let us think of our country. Nearly 65 percent of people in Venezuela live in poverty, and the government has been trying to recover from an economic crisis that has forced millions to flee. Last month, the government-controlled National Assembly announced it will replace the Electoral Council after the opposition sought its help in holding the primaries. Analysts say the Maduro government will do everything possible to prevent the opposition from joining forces. The government's strategy is to divide and conquer. The government is a minority right now, with only 20% support. And the country that wants change is around 80%. And that's why they will do everything possible, as they always have to keep the opposition divided. As the opposition representatives debate strategies to defeat Nicolás Maduro, they're aware it's a difficult fight. And finding a common ground is the first big challenge. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera. Well, Guatemala's electoral court on 